Hello, this is Tommy. Welcome back to Chatomics. In today's video, I'm going to share with you my perspective of the differences between bioinformatics and computational biology. I will also share with you other people's perspective of the differences between those two. And you may be surprised by the final uh, answer. So make sure you stick to the end. So the other day, I asked this question on Twitter. So what's the difference between bi bioinformatics and computational biology? So I got this question from a father who wants to help her, his daughter to choose a major uh, in college. Uh, by the way, I regret not uh, phrasing um, it uh, appropriately in the original tweet, but that's a segue. So first I gave out my answer. So this is my answer, but I would like to uh, get everybody else input. So nowadays, people tend to use bioinformatics and computational biology interchangeably. But my understanding is that bioinformatics is more focused on method and algorithm development, while computational biology focuses on using uh, computational tools, parenthesis developed by bioinformaticians, to analyze biological data and derive insights. But however, I add another sentence like bioinformatic bioinformaticians do similar work too. So by the way, this is the original tweet. You can uh, go there and uh, uh, read uh, the responses from the people. Okay, here's an, a, an, a different answer from Dr. Elena uh, Fertig. Uh, she's a professor in Johns Hopkins. So she said, computational biology is leveraging quantitative tools to understand the basic biology and the biological mechanisms. It can be data-driven or not. While bioinformatics is the development and application of methods for high-throughput genomic data analysis. So I reply this close to what in my mind, but there's a difference because uh, the uh, computational biology work can include a theoretical work as well. So for example, some uh, modeling or, or algorithm development, it can it does not necessarily to be like data driven. Okay, then uh, Philip chimed in. So this is interesting. So coming from the biological modeling field, uh, he always feel that bioinformatics was over dominated by omics and big data analysis, while it should have meant by uh, meant any application of informatics to biology, from which uh, his project were left out and would never get found. So, uh, actually, the interesting reply is from Jacob. He said, "People make up a definition for each one, but those definitions are not consistent." across people or institutes. That's exactly what I actually observed from all the answers. So Paul actually uh, uh, replied, most people ins insist that there is a difference. However, I found that when they defined it, the differences are so varied that one pe person's computational biology is another person's bioinformatics. That's so interesting. Actually, when I uh, so people give the opposite, opposite, exact opposite actually definition of bioinformatics and the computational biology as I did, I was actually shocked. So then late, later, Michael actually gave uh, a little bit of insight. So depending on who you ask, you can get pretty much opposite definitions. And I think it's because of this, this prototype theory. So we define those concepts in our heads based on our own personal experience with examples of which. And then this is, can be biased because everybody has different experience. Uh, Sunny, uh, she said, I found the difference only exists in curriculum from individual programs, which is out outdated. So in reality, those two are uh, uh, exchangeable when it comes to doing science. And finally, uh, Rob uh, said, so in my opinion, don't attempt to use them differently. It will just confuse people. Okay, so the final conclusion is that those two terms are interchangeably, uh, interchangeable and don't uh, use them actually uh, differently. Because first, 
everybody has a different definition. Second, uh, you can confuse people. Okay, anyway, so in the end, if you want to know more about bioinformatics and computational biology, those three references may be helpful for you. The first is the, uh, a brief uh, history of bioinformatics. It talks about the history of bioinformatics. Actually, it started like more than 50, 60, year, 60 years ago, even before the computer or DNA sequencing uh, was available at that time. So it's all started from, uh, started from uh, protein sequencing and how people actually assembled the uh, protein sequence from the peptides. And then there's this Nature Biotechnology paper, uh, kind of old, so you want to be a computational biologist, I highly recommend you to uh, read this paper. And what more interestingly is in, in this paper, bioinformatics curriculum guidelines toward a definition of core competencies and you see this bioinformatics, whatever paper is published in the Journal of Plus Computational Biology. So I guess bioinformatics and computational biology are the same. Okay, that's it for today. Uh, I hope you like the content. Click uh, subscribe if you like it. Thank you. Happy learning.